Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us on this Saturday morning, and welcome to the Specialist Trading Educational Presentation. Now, I'm really excited about today's webinar. We're going to do a repeat performance of this presentation because for the very first time, we're going to be focusing on a different aspect of trading. That's why we're introducing my new two-part dynamic stop course. This is the first time we've ever covered a topic like this, and we feel it's extremely important. That's why we want to try and tackle it with our students around the world. Now, I know everyone probably uses stops already. In fact, that's one of the first things we're always taught to protect our trades. So I would venture to say upwards of 99.9% .9 of all traders use stops in some capacity, either a mental stop or some type of uh, way in which to uh, apply their stops. But unfortunately, they're not really working out that great, right? Because if they really work to protect your, uh, you know, interest in whatever you're trading or to at least, you know, try to capture some type of profit, why are so many traders still struggling with their stop placement? For example, let's look at this chart here, an older chart in Apple. This is how most traders apply stops, and this is why we feel this is a big part of the problem. Let's say you're looking at this, and through your analysis, you decide that you like Apple, so you want to buy a couple of hundred shares right here, okay, at 108 when it was trading at this price. And you decide to place your stop down about three points lower because you've looked at the range of the bars and they're basically in a three to five point range. So you figure, you know, you'll stay within the range of the, uh, the, the average true range of the current price. And that way, if it exceeds that range, well, most likely uh, it'll be time to get out. So you're excited about this trade and Two days later, you're stopped out with a three-point loss, actually a little bit more because it gapped lower. So you say to yourself, well, okay, I'm following the rules. You know, I protected myself. Uh, I was staying within the range. And then all of a sudden, this happens, right? This is what's wrong with most traders' application of stops. It's not that they're, you know, using the wrong, uh, you know, uh, concept of trying to protect your trade. You always should try to protect it. It's just your placement and what you're basing your stops on. So we're going to talk about the new course that we're going to be having, and we're also going to share with you a bunch of examples. All these examples today were generated on the PTS Primo charting platform. This is the educational trading platform <clears throat> that actually makes, excuse me, <clears throat> trading with our dynamic stops simple. Excuse me, I'm kind of losing my voice here through allergies. It must be springtime. <clears throat> but bear with me, and I promise I will be right back to normal. So welcome once again. My name is Stephen Primo, president and founder of Specialist Trading. And we're really excited about this because, as I stated earlier, this is the very first time we've ever ventured into actually having a course that deals specifically with stops. And the reason why we're so excited is because our new dynamic stop placement is actually so versatile, you can use it in a number of ways. Not only can you use it to, you know, as a normal stop, protect your trades, but you can actually trade with it. So that's why we're going to have a two-part uh, type of uh, uh, seminar or course for our students because we're not only going to talk about the basic aspects of, the, of applying stops, we're also going to share with you up to three different ways in which you can apply it to your trading because as we saw over using this and experimenting with it for a while, that it actually is able to generate some really nice high probability setup. So this is what we're going to talk about today. But before we begin, once again, as always, we first ask that you look at our disclaimer. I'm going to share with you a lot of performance results using our new dynamic stop. But please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. Also remember that since we are an educational company, all examples are strictly for educational purposes only. Now, since we are an educational company, I invite each and every one of you to follow us on Twitter. There's our handle right there, abbreviation for specialist trading. Every day I post different information on a daily basis, uh, anywhere from little bits of financial wisdoms to signals our strategies have generated. And I go into detail a little bit about why these particular signals were generated. So there's a lot of great free educational uh, information on a daily basis. So please feel free to follow us on Twitter. Now, remember, as I just stated, we are a little bit different from other webinars you may have attended in that we are first and foremost an educational company. That's our goal. That's our mission statement to simply educate traders. Why? Someone would say, why, why educate? Why don't you just give me the signals that you're trading? Why not just tell me where to place my stop? Well, the reason is, is because that's the way most traders are always taught. That's the way I was taught, you know, when I first started, you know, uh, you know, I was taught to just blindly follow some trading guru or some earnings report. If it's good, just buy. If it's bad, sell. 
And it didn't work for me 44 years ago, so most likely it's not going to work now. All right, that's why most traders fail. The only thing that I've seen that's worked in the past is sound fundamental education with one motive, and that's simply to educate you so that you can make your own trading decisions. You see, when you blindly follow someone, that's when you take yourself out of the game, and that's most likely why you're losing. But once you're given the tools and the techniques and the strategies to make your own decisions, that's where you start to become a consistent trader. And by consistent, we don't mean consistent for a couple of years, maybe. We mean consistent, hopefully, for a couple of decades. So that's what we're trying to instill in all of our students around the world in over 115 countries and in virtually every state in the United States. And that is, we are an educational company and that a mentor does not trade for you. He teaches you how to trade. So that's my goal, not to trade for you, not to give you nightly signals, not to tell you what I think the market's going to do or what the perfect time frame is, but to teach you how to trade with the specialist edge. This is the same edge that has sustained me now for 44 years, and hopefully it will be able to do the same for you. Now, once again, this is an educational class, so ask me as many questions as possible, but please wait till the very end. I promise I'll get to each and every one of your questions. The only one I will answer right now is, is this being recorded? Yes, it is. Each and every one of you will be sent a link to this recording. Now, just really quickly here, I just want to make sure that you're seeing the screen and seeing everything clearly. Just make sure that we can. I the broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Okay, great. Now, before we begin, I just want to make sure, is everyone seeing the, the screen clearly? I think there was a little difficulty with GoToWebinar. I was seeing that it was cutting in and out. But uh, before we begin, uh, I'm glad that I saw that right now. If you are able to see the screen, just let me know. If not, uh, let me know, and I'll try and fix it again. Many times, GoToWebinar has little glitches, and you know they fade in and out, and oftentimes, it's just one click away. Okay, I see that. It's good here. Good. Great. Okay, good. Well, now that you have my little uh, uh, concept on philosophy, now is for the best part. Now we're going to delve into what's actually you're going to be learning in the class. So let's start out and begin with what we're going to be teaching you. Let's go a little bit into detail about stop placement, okay? Now, the first thing we want to do is ask ourselves, what is the basic function of a stop loss order? Because as I said, everyone, I would just venture to say 99.9% .9 of all traders use stops. But unfortunately, they're really not helping. So what is the basic function of a stop loss order? Okay. A stop loss order designates that a stock, or for that matter, anything you're trading, it doesn't have to be actually a stock, it could be a future currency pair, commodity, Bitcoin, but whatever you're trading, it designates that that be bought or sold when that reaches a specific or specified price. Now, the objective of a stop loss order is to exit a trade either to protect your profit or to limit your losses. Therefore, you must always apply stop loss orders when trading, okay? So we want to either protect a nice trade that we have a good profit in, or we want to limit the loss, okay? This is extremely, extremely important. So let's look at these charts here. Let's say, for example, in this older chart of DISCA, okay, uh, Discovery. Let's say we, our strategy, whatever it's based on, we're not gonna be talking about strategies today, we're simply talking about protecting or limiting our losses. Let's say we uh, got a buy signal here, okay? Now, look what happened after we got long. We had a really nice trade. So, obviously, we want to protect our profit. If we're going to be holding this for a while. We want to have a stop placement that is going to continue to track the trade and actually protect our profits so that we can lock them in if the trend decides to change. Now, this is if we have a really nice trade underway. For example, we bought right here. But let's say we're not so lucky and our strategy or whatever we're following actually generates a buy signal up here, okay? All right, so we buy much, much higher. Now, we haven't really got a profit yet, okay? Because pretty much we bought right at the top here, and then look what happens. So obviously, this was a losing trade, but we wanna limit our trade. So what happens most often is that traders either have a very low stop somewhere down here or something, and they give away a lot, a lot of their capital. So we wanna limit that so that it's not a very, big loss. So that gives us enough room to come back and trade again another day. So that is the main purpose of stop loss orders, to protect profits when we have a winning trade and to limit losses when we have a loser, right? Now, 
This is how most traders decide their stop placement. So we know we need a stop order, but unfortunately, most traders use faulty plans when deciding their stop placement. And there are three basic ways in which they do this. Whoops. The stop price is usually based upon a dollar amount. All right, think of it. How many times do you say, well, I'm willing to risk so much of my account. I'll, I'll risk a couple hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, a thousand. So it's based on a dollar amount. Or it could be based on a point amount, like we showed you earlier. Well, unfortunately, you couldn't see the first example, but it was based on uh, the average true range. All right. So it's based on amount of points or so that you're willing to risk. Or lastly, the, in my opinion, the worst way to decide a stop placement is randomly. In other words, you wake up one day and you say, well, I feel really lucky. I feel really confident that the market's going to go the direction I want. So I'm just going to place my stop wherever I want, or maybe not even use a stop, but just kind of wait and see how things unfold. Or perhaps you're the opposite. Maybe you've been going through a series of losses. You're extremely frightened that you're going to lose more money. You don't have any more money left. So you're randomly just picking stop placements here or there just to protect everything. It's, your stops are very tight. Okay. This, these are the three main ways traders predict stop placement levels okay so let's look at an example here in ebay all right this is a standard dollar stop placement let's say you have a nice account let's say 25 now let's make it even larger let's say 50,000 okay you have a, a good size uh, account you feel confident and you like ebay this was going back to the beginning of the year so you say to yourself well i like this stock but according to my strategy my analysis i'm not going to buy until it closes above this kind of resistance right here so you wait and it pops its head above there, but it doesn't trade. But then all of a sudden it closes above. So you're excited. You say to yourself, that's it. It's going to break out. I'm going to buy it. So you buy right here. You buy 300 shares at 59.15. They say to yourself, okay, I've been to this guy, uh, Steve Primo's webinars before. He says not to risk more than 2% of your capital. I have a $50,000 account. So I'll risk $1,000. Okay. So the stop is based on a dollar amount. You're willing to risk 2%, which is a good number, but it's based on the dollars. Okay. So this means you would place your stop right here, roughly at 55.80. That means you would lose a thousand dollars. Hey, you only lose 2% of your account. That's in line. Okay. Uh, after a series of losses, you'll still have enough money in your account by only risking 2%. So let's see what happened. Three days later, you're stopped out. You say to yourself, well, okay, I don't feel so bad. I followed the rules. I risked a small portion of my account. I still have enough to come back and trade again. And then look what happens. Okay. So actually your analysis was right. It was right to go long eBay. You were right. Correct. It did break out, but it was just that kind of little shimmy shake there at the beginning where it shook you out and then it went higher. And the point is, is because you were using a faulty stop. You were using a dollar stop. Here's the problem with that, okay? The problem with deciding the stop order level this way is that the market doesn't know, or more especially, it doesn't care how much money you're willing to lose. The market doesn't know whether you have a $50,000 account or a $5,000 account or a $500 account. It doesn't know and it doesn't care, okay? Now, the second way to initiate stop placement is by points. The only trouble is the market you're trading doesn't know or care how many points you're willing to risk. It doesn't know that you're following the average true range or that you've seen that, well, it usually comes down or up about three or four points and that's where it, it decides to turn around. It doesn't know or more especially, it doesn't care about these things. And then lastly, the market doesn't know or care how you randomly decide to choose your stop levels. It doesn't know if you woke up in a very confident mood. It doesn't know if you've had a series of losses and it doesn't care. I always use this metaphor because it seems to fit perfectly, but the market is like a big river. Okay, sometimes that river is motionless. Sometimes it looks like a pond. It's not even moving at all. Other times it has raging rapids. Maybe it's going over a waterfall, okay? so. It's not up to the market to change for you. If you're going to go down that river and let's say a raft, it's not up to the market to change its currents dependent on what you're traveling in. It's up to you to change according to the market. Because remember, the market doesn't know what kind of boat you're in or what kind of raft or an inner tube or, you know, if you're just swimming. It doesn't know and it doesn't care. It continues to do what it does. It's the same with the market. 
doesn't know if you have a $50,000 account. It doesn't know if you have looked and seen that it generally moves within two or three points of its range. It doesn't know or care about that. It doesn't know if you woke up in a good mood or a bad mood. It just does what it does. So therefore, we're not asking the market to bend its view for us, for our account, for our trading. We're supposed to bend our view to the market. See, that's the problem with most traders. So this is where dynamic stops comes into play. This is why dynamic stops are so important because the stop price is specifically based upon market behavior. You see, we are bending our view to the market. We're not asking the market to bend and shape its view for us. All right, so let's look at how a dynamic stop would have helped you in the exact same scenario. Remember, we're not talking about strategies we don't care this could have been a strategy based off of uh the tides of the ocean or it could have been based on a flip of a coin we don't care the point is we're talking about how to protect and have proper stop placement okay so we continue to buy 300 shares all right we still have a fifty thousand dollar account we want to buy it on the breakout right there so we buy it there but now where do we place our stop? Well, we're not gonna place our stop based off of a dollar amount. Remember, the market doesn't know how many dollars we have in our account, and it doesn't care how many dollars we have in our account. We have to bend our view to the market. So this is where dynamic stops come into play. Here's how simple it is. On our platform, click on dynamic stop. In the drop-down menu, you would click on sell stops, okay? And they automatically appear. Now, they will go back in time to as long as uh, how many bars you have loaded up you will see stop placement in the past though okay so you can decide going back the last three to five bars where you want to place your stop if you're a more uh, aggressive trader where you don't mind taking a lot of risk well then you may want to use these stop placements right here if you're a more moderate trader where you have moderate risk well you say well maybe i'll use this stop placement whereas if you are more of a, a regular standard trader and you want to use the minimum risk available, that would be this one right here. Why? Because it's based off of market behavior. So you place your stop anywhere uh, just a little below that line or where that line is, okay? Now, let's see the trade unfold. Remember, the trade went down. If you were using a dollar amount or maybe even a point amount, you would have been stopped out. But look at the stop. We're at the exact same level. We came to the exact same level here, so we're not stopped out. Now, a couple of days later, we went back up. When that happened, all of a sudden, we auto-generated a new stop level. So now you would raise your stop to here. Sure, you're still losing because you bought here, but your risk has now been cut in just about half, and you're still in the trade. You haven't lost anything, so you're monitoring the trade, and then ultimately, you had a winning trade. Your analysis was right. Your strategy was right to get you in. Your stop placement was just incorrect. Why? Because you were following your rules when you should have been following what the market behavior was. So the PTS dynamic stop is a proprietary stop placement, meaning that we're keeping the rules in-house. The formula is in-house. It moves with the ebb and flow of price, and it's specifically designed to track the behavior of the market you are currently trading. The reason why we're keeping it in-house is because the most important part is knowing how to apply it. The formula would take you too long and actually you would be out of the market trying to figure this out most of the time if you're an intraday trader. So we didn't think it was fair for traders to have to keep, uh, you know, figuring out what this formula was. So the beauty of this is in knowing how to apply it and actually in knowing how to trade with it, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. OK, now I know a lot of traders will say, well, Steve, I just looked at that chart and you're just basically placing the stop below, uh, you know, pivot points or pivot levels. Well, let's go back and look at that chart. OK. All right, remember we would have bought here. As we look at some of these, someone said, Steve, this was just a pivot low. So you place your stop right here. Here was a couple more pivot lows, you know, low, lower low. All right. Now, one thing you have to remember, these are dynamic stops, meaning that they're dynamically being generated with the market and the market behavior. Here's the funny thing. If you think this was based off a of pivot low, remember that once this bar closed, you would have seen a red line appear on the PTS Primo charting platform. So it did not know where the next bar was going to be. For all it cared, the next bar could have been lower. But this line was already here. The same with this one, okay? You could have said, well, this is just a pivot low. Low, lower low, higher low. But the, the stop was not generated after the third bar. The stop was generated right here. So you didn't know where this next bar was going to be. And the same with this right here. This is not a pivot low. As you were going higher, the stop was moved up. 
Now, we did not know where this next bar was going to be, but it still is not a pivot low. Same thing here and here. So this is not based off patterns. It's not based off the pattern of where the price bars are or uh, you know higher highs, higher lows. It's not based on that at all. It's based off a proprietary formula that follows the market behavior, whatever you're trading, whatever time frame. Now, this is where we come into the exciting part. We're going to be having a two-part dynamic stop course. This is going to be happening very soon within the next week or so. It's a two-part course. And let me go into detail what these two parts are. All right, here's our curriculum that we're going to be starting in the next week or so. Session number one, the first part, we're going to be talking about the overview and the application of the dynamic stop. And we talked to a lot of students in the past, and that was one of the reasons why we came up with this course. And a lot of students had a lot of concerns about stop placements. Here were some of their major concerns. They would say, issue number one, my stops have far too much risk, okay? Does this sound familiar? Let's say you purchase some $10,000 trading plan, and then you think, oh, this is great, I'm so excited. And then when it tells you where to place your stop, you're risking half of your account, right? And you say to yourself, wow, I can't risk this much. I, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night knowing I had a loss that big. Well, let's look at some examples here in FUTU. Let's once again say that you like this stock. This was just a couple of months ago and you want to buy on a breakout. So once again, it takes a couple of bars, but ultimately you have a breakout there. Now, where your normal stop placement would be, would be, let's say right here, right? This is a pivot low. This is a good place to place a stop. There's nothing wrong with this, but if you place your stop here, there's a lot of risk. Look where you're buying roughly. Okay, the entry price is roughly about 160, 165. Your stop is roughly about 115. So you're basically risking 50 points, which is a lot. Okay, and then ultimately, had you gotten into the trade, look what would have happened. You would have exited right here. You would have been stopped out. Now, we're not telling you that dynamic stops will never have a losing trade. That has to do with your strategy. But remember, their job is to try and minimize risk as much as possible. So how could this situation have changed? Well, click on the PTS Primo dynamic stop. And there you see the three stops available. Here's the more risky stop, the same as the original one. Here's the less risky. And if you were trying to cut risk down, you would have used this one. Now, ultimately, you did get stopped out, but you would have exited right here, roughly uh, maybe about 10 to 15 points lower, which is manageable, which you could have said, OK, it was a bad trade, but at least I didn't lose 50. I only lost maybe a third of that or maybe a fourth of that, okay? Here's another example in you all. Let's say to yourself, well, this is a short. I don't like the airlines. I want to go short this. This was just a couple of weeks ago. And you're looking for a sign, and here it is. This is a bearish engulfing pattern. You don't like, uh, you know, this stock and uh, the engulfing pattern. You like candlesticks. It gave you a sign to go short. So you say to yourself, I'm going to sell this, okay? So you sell. Maybe you bought the puts. But you ask yourself, well, where do I get out if I'm wrong? What if this all of a sudden goes straight up? Here's the most natural risk point right here, right? At the very top. That's where most traders would place their stop placement. But once you apply the PTS dynamic stop, here's where the stop levels are. Obviously, this one would be more riskier right here, but here's the second one right here, okay? So most likely, if you're trying to you know, do damage control and cut your losses to a minimum, that's for the stop you would use. And you didn't have to worry about it, though, because you had a nice winning trade. So this will make you feel more comfortable because we will give you different options for more risk or less risk if that's what you really want. Now, the next issue that most traders tell us is that, Steve, I want my stops to keep me in a winning trade as long as possible. OK, we talked about risk. Now, what about when you have a really good winner? A lot of traders don't like to get in and out. They want to stay in as long as possible, but they don't have a method that's able to do that. It'll get them out too quickly. How many times have you gotten out of a trade and just see it keep going and going and going? And you say to yourself, oh my goodness, why did I get out? I had a really nice winning trade here. Well, this is another function of the PTS dynamic stop placement. All right, let's say, as we look at this chart here in Costco about a month or so ago, let's say you went long right here. And you click on the PTS dynamic stop and it gives you a couple of options here for the more risk and here for the less risk, okay? If you wanna place it somewhere right here. So let's say you take the more risk down here, just below where you purchased it, and you have a really nice trade. Well, look how the stops were raised every time the market kept going higher. Remember, this is not based on any pattern, even though it could look like, well, this is a, a pivot low or this is a pivot low. Remember, this is not a pivot low. 
And on top of that, in order to be a pivot low, you need the next bar to confirm if it was a pivot low. And the uh, stops are generated on that bar. So we don't know what the next bar is going to be. For all we know, it could be much lower. So do you see how this could have kept you in? A lot of traders like to maybe purchase 200 shares or maybe a couple of uh, options, and then they'll uh, sell one contract and let the other one ride the way you would do here, or sell 100 shares and let the rest ride. Or in this example of PEN, let's say you didn't like this stock and on this breakdown, you want to go short. So you sell right here. Maybe you buy the puts, maybe you uh, actually shorted the stock. Using the PTS dynamic stop placement, that's where your initial stop would be, right here. So you feel comfortable. Okay, I'm willing to use that as a stop placement. But as the trade unfolds, look how the stop continues to track the trade down. OK, so after a nice profit, let's say right here, you could have maybe covered on half your position and let the remainder ride. This is another great function of the dynamic stop uh, order. And then lastly, students tell Steve, I don't want to have to keep deciding every time the market moves or every time something happens, where do I place my stop now? I have to keep thinking, like, is this a good place? Do I, do I you know, move it up here or is that the perfect place to move it? Maybe I should leave it where it is. So a lot of students want their stops to be auto-generated. Well, everything you've just seen is displayed from using the auto stops on our platform, the PTS Primo charting platform. And everything is auto-generated, the dynamic stops. For example, as we see here in this uh, chart of Halliburton, okay? As we click on the PTS dynamic stop, all you have to do is click on sell stop. That's the first thing you do and you automatically know where your stop should be. So you bought here, here's your stop, and you just wait as the trade unfolds. Now, two days later, you see that the stop now has been generated right here. This is why we say we don't know if it's a, uh, uh, a three bar pivot low because we need another bar to confirm that. For the next bar, we could be stopped out. We don't know. So it's auto generating these stop placements based off market behavior, not patterns. And that was a nice place to be. So we have our stop right here. And as long as you have the PTS dynamic stop here, as we clicked on, clicked on on the sell stops, it will auto generate them every time the formula uh, uh, generates another setup. So right now your stop would be right here if you decided not to exit yet. And as you can see, after this bar closed, that's where your new stop should be. So you would move it now here. Now you're basically breaking even, okay? So if you wanted to sell maybe 100 shares on this nice run up, now you're holding on and the worst you can do is break even. And look what happens. Now the stock really takes off, but you're still having your stop right here. And now the stop has been moved up. OK, so now you've locked in some really nice profits again. And look what happens. The very next bar, you're stopped out. So you've got a nice profit, OK? And you're glad, you're happy, and look what happened. You see, this is what happens to most traders. They'll feel really good about a trade, but they don't use proper stop placement. And they'll see a winning trade with a lot of profits turn into a losing trade because the trend can change. Remember, the market is like a river. It doesn't know or care how many shares you bought. It doesn't know or care what type of a stop placement you're using, okay? A dollar amount, points, uh, pivot lows. It doesn't know or care that. And it doesn't know or care how you're randomly deciding to, to uh, produce your stops. It doesn't know. It just does what it does. So you have to follow the market instead of relying on the market to follow you. Okay, so that's what we're going to cover in session one, okay? Uh, when we have the uh, course, we'll take a break and then we'll go into the meat and potatoes, which is session two. And that's the three uh, dynamic stop initiated trading techniques. Now, one thing we have to say is these techniques are advanced or advanced traders. That's why the pet D is required. Now, I know a lot of our traders, that is probably a, one of our most popular trading tools. So I know most of you have the pet D. But in order to get these trading techniques, you will need the pet D because they're required. So let me share with you exactly what these techniques are. Technique A, okay? This is a technique that is really specifically uh, applied to these stocks, futures, currency pairs that have a really good trendy move already in place. For example, as we see here in the Swiss franc, there is already a strong downtrending move in place. With what we teach you using our stop placement, because they produce specific patterns themselves, well, you'll see that this generated signals all the way down. So this is a great way to trade 
already strong trending markets. This is technique A. So if you like to trade these strong trending markets, let's say you're already in the trade, and maybe you got out too early and it just continues to go further and further and further. This is where technique A comes in. It will get you back in using this specific technique. All right, now let's say you're in more of a holding pattern with the future, the currency pair, or the stock you're trading. This is where technique B comes into place because it's specifically designed to generate these kind of setups in the sideways areas of the market. As you see right here, this is a chart in uh, Dogecoin. Now, sure, it's taken off right here. This was in uh, mid-April. It took off and went straight up and then went sideways again. So it's these sideways areas where technique B will generate these signals, okay? If you had three signals generated here, when the, uh, the I should say the uh, cryptocurrency went sideways, and then look what happened. Now it's in another holding pattern again, and it's starting to generate signals again for purchase. So that's where technique B comes in place when you have these sideways range markets. Now here's, in my opinion, the most unique of the three, this is technique number C. Okay, technique C, I should say, letter C. Now this is based off of patterns. This is based off of a bracket. These patterns that will be generated using both the buy and sell uh, dynamic stop. They create these bracket trades. Now, I can't go into detail, but I can kind of give you the gist of how to apply this. So let's go into detail here with Yelp. As we see here, we kind of have a sideways market. Here's the way you would apply technique C. Click on the PTS dynamic stop tab. Now, usually if you're long, you'd click on the sell stop to protect yourself if you wanna sell and get out. If you're short, you wanna click on the buy stop. With technique C, you will click on both, both buy and sell stop. And here's what it does. You'll see the buy and sell stops and you create these brackets. When you see a bar with both a buy and a sell stop, that is a technique C bracket trade. And here's the way we wanna use it. What basically the market is telling us it's coiling. It doesn't know which direction it wants to go. It's in an indecision. But usually what we've seen happen throughout the years is if it breaks out one way, it will go in that direction for a specified amount of time. So here's the way we're gonna trade it. If we trade at the upper level here, we're gonna be a buyer and place our protective stop here. But if the first bar breaks down before we break up above, well, we're gonna go short and price our protective stop here. So let's see how this unfolded in Yelp. This was uh, just a couple of months ago. Well, the next bar we traded there. So we went long right here. So the minute we went long, we placed our stop here. And look what happened. We had a really nice upward move up because it's kind of like a breakout. Now, a week or two later, look what happens. We have another bracket trade. So we would move our stop, which is right here, if we hadn't exited yet, to right here. And then we can play it again. We can say, listen, if we break out of this to the upside again, well, maybe I'll buy some more shares or maybe I'll just sit and watch it. Or if we break to the downside, I'll exit my long trade and go short and place my protective stop here. So let's see what happened. Well, it went up a little bit, but it never broke out above. So we never went long again. And then as it came down, look what happened. So we sold our long position if we were still in it. And if we wanted to, we decided to go short and look what happened. So this is the beauty. Now there are some more aspects of this technique number C that we will teach you more advanced ways in the course. But I'm just giving you a basic concept of technique C. See, there are patterns and are uh, some ways in which to actually trade these. And that's what we're gonna go into detail in uh, the second uh, session of the class. But remember, the PET-D is required because this is more advanced and uh, it, it's really going to help you have these high probability setups. Here's another example of Technique C. This is on the spiders. This was going back to this last month, the beginning of April. Look what happened here. As we apply both these, remember we click on both buy and sell and we have a bracket trade right here. This was on the 6th of April, okay? So, Whichever bar trades above or below first, that's the direction most likely the market is going. Because remember, the spiders represents the S&P 500. It's the, uh, basically, it is the um, uh, ETF that represents the S&P 500. So let's see what happened. Well, we went above first, obviously. So we would have been long here. Or a lot of our students, I'm sure, would say, well, listen, I don't trade the spiders and they're kind of a, bit, a little bit too rich for my blood. But maybe 
This should be used as a market directional tool. So this is one of the things we're teaching as well. You don't have to actually buy the spiders, but if any of the ETFs that represent the indices, the QQQs or the, uh, you know, the uh, Russell 500s or the, uh, uh, the Dow, the YMs or whatever, have these bracket trades or even an indice. You can apply this to an indice. This will give you a clear cut direction uh, that the market may be going in for the short term. So let's say you went long the spiders here. Well, you would move your stop to right here. So you know you're buying here and here's your risk. And we know that the market went straight up after that. And here was another example, okay? And we see that the market just coming up to the middle of the month went up roughly 700 points. So you could have applied this as a market directional tool. That's 700 points just by looking at this bracket trade. Now, has anything happened in the last two weeks? Well, come to class, become a student, and you'll be able to find out if it had signaled anything or a different change in trend. Okay, so let's review real quickly before we go to question and answer. Remember, how are the PTS dynamic stops different from others? Well, basically, they're designed to keep you in winning trades as long as possible. We showed you a number of examples where they really follow and track what, whatever market you're trading. They're also mainly focusing on minimizing your losses as well. Even though we know we will have losing trades from time to time, we don't want to take these major losses on because if we have too many major losses, there goes our account. So we want to keep it minimum as much as possible. So if we're wrong, we're wrong and we know early. Also, there's nothing to calculate. All the stop levels are auto generated. So once you click on either the buy or the sell stop, that's all you have to do. And they will automatically be generated as long as you're in the trade. You'll see under the bar where the stops should be. And one of the other things is they do not uh, auto-generate and regenerate themselves. In other words, once a stop level is there at the close of the bar, it stays there. It doesn't repaint, it doesn't regenerate itself and say, oh, you know what, we changed our mind, the stop shouldn't be here. That's where the stop is for good. So there's nothing that's changing, okay? And then you can apply it to any market or time frame. I don't want you to think just because we've mainly focused on stocks here that this is just for stocks only. I use it personally with e-mini trading. That's what I like to trade. We have been experimenting with Bitcoin, with currency pairs, and we get the same type of really nice results. Lastly, you have three different ways to initiate trades. We've taken it up a notch by telling you that you can actually trade with this. If you're the type of trader that maybe gets out too early, well, just apply the, uh, the stop placement and we will show you three different ways how you can get back into the trade, all right? Remember, the pet T is required though for these trading techniques because they're more advanced and they will really kick your uh, setups up to the next level in terms of high probability. So if you don't believe how proper and how much these things can really help you, go back and look at your last 10 to 20 trades. If you're getting stopped out too early or if your risk is far too high, you need the PTS dynamic stop course. Think of it. Most traders say to us, God, Steve, you know, I love your strategies, they were great, but gosh, I get out too early. I, I just, I, I, I get scared sometimes and I get out and I, I just wish I had something that was just structured to keep me in. That's perfect for you, the dynamic stop course. All right, we have a great offer for all the people attending on Saturday today. We're gonna have you have a great discount for our two-part course. Remember, this is starting within a few weeks. This is a full day live class. Remember, these stops are based on market behavior not randomly. You can apply to any strategy, any market or time frame. Here's the beauty of this. It doesn't matter if you even are a member or a course member of any of my strategies. Let's say you have a strategy that works just fine, but you need proper stop placement. You can apply it to any strategy, any market or time frame. This also comes with the three proprietary trading techniques, okay? Remember, all of these stops are gonna be auto-generated. There's nothing you have to do. We've taken the hard work out of it for you, okay? This protects profits and it limits your losses. Now, here's the good thing. Remember, everything we've shown you today has been displayed on the PTS Primo charting platform. Everything is auto-generated. So you won't find this anywhere else. You won't find this on TradeStation. You won't find this on Metastock. So because of that, we're gonna throw in a full year of our platform if you decide to become a member of this course. Now, a full year usually costs close to $1,800. We're gonna drop that down to zero. If you decide to join up now, you're gonna get a full year free of the platform, which comes with so many other 
uh, variables and features as well. I mean, there's so many other uh, different ways to trade that you'll only find on the platform. So this is great. So it includes one year of the PTS Primo charting platform, plus it also has the three different ways to trade. Plus you have the auto-generated exit levels on the platform. You have the buy sell line uh, scanner on the platform. You have the uh, strength of trend tool on the platform. There's so many other things included with that. We just don't have time to go over. All right, so let's break this down. The pre-launch pricing is $39.95 for this two-part course. We're gonna slash that today down by 25%. Now you're just going to have to pay $29.95. The good news is payment plans are available. So if $29.95 is still too much for you to come up with in one lump sum, for a small deposit, you can still be up and running and in class in the next week or so. It's really simple. Contact Pro Trader Strategies. Remember, if you're still not convinced, look at this example. This just happened uh, this last week. Let's say you had a buy signal in DORM, okay, Dorman Products, or, uh, uh, and you're thinking, boy, this is a great a trade. You want to protect yourself. With the dynamic stops, you would have been in the trade, and right here, you would have said, well, we're getting kind of high. If you extended where that stop was a day or two later, look how this protected you. Now, as you see here, this stop placement was not a pivot low. It was not based on any price range movement. It's totally market behavior that said you should be getting out right here if the trend changes, and look what happened. So you would have, had you held on to the trade, had a losing trade just a few days later. But because of the dynamic stop course, you would have been out of the trade with a profit. Remember, this is a special one-day live event. Most likely, we're going to have it on a Saturday pretty much at the same time. Class size is limited, so reserve your spot now. The way to do that is to contact Pro Trader Strategies. They have trading consultants manning the phones right now. They would be happy to take your order over the phone. Remember, they can uh, give you and uh, kind of estimate with you a payment plan. So if you're interested in attending, but you can't come up with $29.95, don't worry. They will give you an estimate of what type, uh, how much you need for a, a type of payment plan. And you can still be up and running and in class. I would strongly suggest calling them at 310-598-6677. Now, if you want more information, just go to our uh, link right here. And we've just posted the link in the chat box. So if you want to go to a live link, it's posted in the chat box there, okay? Now I'm gonna leave all this information up here. I said I would reserve the last portion of the uh, class for questions. So if you do have a question, just go to your question and answer box in the go to webinar column, and I'll answer them right now. But remember, if you wanna contact Pro Trader Strategies, they have trading consultants manning the phones, and you can call them anytime you'd like, okay? Okay, let's see, first question. To use a dynamic stop in the pet D, do I need to have a broker linked to my PTS charts? No, you don't need, uh, in fact, uh, I'll tell you the way I do it. I usually don't like to tell people the way I trade. I have another separate uh, platform that I do my trading off of because we don't have a, a link. We're not associated with any broker. So I would say that the majority of all traders trade this way. So what they usually do is they'll uh, have a platform that they that is uh, you know where they send their orders through and then look at our platform. So you have two platforms open at the same time you toggle back and forth, you see where the signals are, where the setups, where the stops are, and then you enter the orders through the other one. I would say the majority of all our students, I think as well as other traders do this as well. I mean, most traders I know have two to maybe three or four platforms open at the same time. So that's very common. So we're not associated with any broker right now. Uh, we may, just a little bit of information, we may be doing that in the future where you can uh, have a broker linked but at this point, we don't have a link set up with the platform, okay? Does that answer your question? Uh, what if you have the charting software already? If you have, uh, by charting software, you mean the platform? Uh, if that's what you mean, don't worry. Pro Trader Strategies is very flexible, all right? So if you already have it and you're saying to yourself, well, you know, you're throwing in a full year, an $1,800 value, and I already have it, well, Pro Trader Strategies is very flexible as a, uh, you know, a, a loyal customer already and a student of ours, they would be very happy to work with you and throw something in. Maybe they'll give you a discount already. So I would still contact them because we're here to work with you. We don't, we don't want to say, no, you've got to pay full price the way other webinars do or other uh, 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 so-called educators do. We, we want to work with you. We really want to educate you. That's why we're always giving you these courses. So uh, they would be more than happy to have some type of a deal with you. So I would give them a call. And remember, there's no obligation. 
if you give them a call, uh, they would be more than happy to give you an estimate so you can think for yourself whether it meets your needs or not. And they're very flexible. And because you already are a qualified student member of ours, they would be more than happy to work with you, okay? I hope that answers your question. Um, someone is saying, when does class start? Well, right now we have it scheduled for the 15th. That's in two weeks. That's two weeks from this Saturday, from today. So what we want to do is have that Saturday to have the two-part session course. So what we'll do is we'll start, we'll spend the first hour or so talking about the basics of stop placement, talking about how these can really help you and what you've been doing wrong in the past. Then we'll take a small little five, 10 minute break, and then we'll resume and go into the most important part, which is talking about how to trade with it. And no one knows these things yet. And remember, we haven't had a class with this, so this is all new information. You will be the first of the first to get this information. We're only gonna be talking about this in the course. So these are things that I've been using in my trading and, and working with to formulate for you, and they really have high levels of consistency. So I'm really excited about teaching them to you. So this is gonna be in the second portion of the class. Remember, we have this scheduled right now tentatively for the 15th. Now we wanna keep the classes uh, to, you know, uh, a minimum. We don't want, as we did in the, in the past, to have 100 people in a class. It doesn't work in terms of having that intimacy. And we're getting right about to our level of where we want to be. Now, if we exceed that and get too many people, we'll most likely have two different classes. But that remains to be seen yet, okay? Uh, someone is asking, how long are the classes? Well, I would venture to say, uh, since it is going to be a two session, uh, a minimum of about two hours, a minimum. Uh, most likely be three, possibly four, but there will be a minimum and with a break in between the two sessions, okay? Uh, someone's asking about the pet D. What if you already have the pet D? Well, same as that other question before. If you already have, let's say, the platform of the pet D, contact Pro Trader Strategies. They're very flexible. They would be willing to work with you because you're already a, uh, you know, a devoted member of our uh, classes and of our products and our, our courses, they'd be more than happy to give you maybe a discount or uh, offer you something with, a, with a, a really reasonable price. So there's a lot of great ways to sign up, even if you already have the pet D or even if you already have the platform, okay? Uh, great, great questions. The last thing is, uh, remember, one thing I didn't go over, with all of our courses, with anything, you have my personal email address. So even if uh, you know, the courses are going to be recorded. Even if you can't attend the course on a weekend, don't worry, everything is recorded and you will also get my personal email address where you can contact me whenever you'd like. So if you have a question concerning the stop placement, a question concerning how to trade with it or the pet D, you can always email me. I'm sure you, I will get uh, some emails uh, this weekend from our students. That's okay. I want you to ask me as many questions as possible. And the only people that get my email address are the students that take my courses. So you're always in constant contact with me. I'm always gonna be there with you one step away. So just contact me if you have a question, okay? Okay, as we close here, I just wanna say thanks for taking time out of your Saturday. Uh, I'm sorry for that initial a little uh, tech uh, uh, blip we had in the beginning, but don't worry, we got the gist of what I wanted to show you. And so if you watch this recording, you're all gonna be sent a link to this recording. You can skip forward to where we, you started to see the, the, uh, the slides and everything, okay? Because you're going to see all the great information I share with you. The one thing I would say though, is since we're gonna be starting soon, don't sleep on this because that special discount you're getting, I believe of 25%, as you get closer to the course, maybe in another week and a half, that will be gone and we'll be back up to the roughly $4,000 price level, okay? So please, if you're serious about this and want the payment plan, Contact Pro Trader Strategies. There's absolutely no obligation. They're happy to work with you and they can give you an estimate over the phone so you can think about it or at least decide if it's worth your uh, while or it meets your needs, okay? As we close and take one last look at our disclaimer, thank you for uh, sharing your time with us today. We showed you a lot of performance results using our dynamic stop, but please remember we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I share with you today will be repeated in the future. Remember, we are first and foremost an educational company, but as your educator, I look forward to all of you becoming students of mine in the Dynamic Stop course. Remember, it starts in a couple of weeks. I look forward to seeing you in our very first class. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Hope to see you in class. Bye-bye.